Okay. Mm. Alright, so good evening. So we are now, we're almost finished with the whole book okay, of the American Bushido Kai Karate, okay, compiled by Sensei Danny Power. We are now in our oh, brown belt, okay? Purple belt to third brown belt lesson. So we are gonna doing the third brown belt. Third brown, second brown, okay? So, there are just few lessons along. We'll have uh, kicks and then drop kicks. Tapos na yung mga pragmatic blocks. And then, about we're gonna learn about self-defense, okay? So, basically, in about uh, 20 minutes, we'll be done already with our class. Okay, so first is axe kick. Okay, the axe kick, axe kick, axe is a... Uh, there's no Japanese term for it. It's another American innovation uh, kick. Okay, so it's from a the kick is delivered at the high descending round crescent kick, and it will hit the face or the collarbone. Okay, so tung bata bata bako medyo taas taas pang axe kick na obro ko medyo is na tayo. Okay, pero usually it comes from here, and then the axe ni mo siya. Right? So we'll do it. And there are two ways to do it: leading foot and back foot na axe kick okay so from the other position the leading foot axe kick is where you step and then lift the leg up and then kick okay so here step and kick boom okay so that's your leading foot axe kick Okay, so I usually go with a crescent kick going up and then going with a kick. And then we have the back leg axe kick. Same thing from here. Pwede ka mag outside round crescent kick. Or pwede ka pong ka mag inside outside crescent kick na hababa. Okay? So that's your axe kick. Right? So let's do it. Ready? Uh, kung nagasabay mo, this napod mo exercise. No, you have a good exercise with Sir Paolo. Okay, let's, uh, let's do it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay, then back leg. One. Two, three, and then change guard. Okay, one, leading foot, two, three. And we have the back leg axe kick, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the kick, and then we have uh, we have drop kicks. Drop kicks are usually used uh, in a self defense. They can magamit sa sparring. Okay, so we have uh, three ways of doing it. That's the side drop kick, the roundhouse drop kick, and then the front drop kick. Okay, so the first is the side drop kick. It's where you from your on guard position. You're gonna Drop down on your knee, touch the floor, okay? Make sure na pas pa siya kasi so you heavy not be it and then you do side kick on his groin, okay? So, kung naka side view ko, I go down and then kick, okay? That's your uh, drop kick and then your second drop kick is the drop round round nose kick. So same thing from your on that position, okay? So you go down, pro ka na siya, pa roundhouse kick. You, it's like you slide. Pag kick niya roundhouse, you go down, then you slide roundhouse kick to the groin. Okay, so muna in defense niya, okay? Because this time you're gonna slide entering towards him, touch the floor, and then you kick roundhouse kick to the groin. 
Okay? And then the last one is your front drop kick. Front front is where he pushes you and you go down to the to the ground and then you from here you kick him. Going upwards. Okay? So mona inyo mga uh drop kicks. Okay? So from here you go down and then kick. Okay? Right? So uh application, let's have a look. Okay, first is the drop side kick. So, we will show you the hand. So, pag nagsipa yan sa kuwag, leading foot, your nose kick, diba? I go down. Okay, you see, you will hit my head. When I go down, he kicks. Kick him in the groin. Okay, that's the application. And then the number, the number two is when he, again, when he kicks, uh, nose kick by his uh, back leg. So I go down, see? Okay, so I keep my guards up. But this time, when I go down, I go kick him, the nose kick say you have groin. Okay? So that's the difference. So, para mas makita nyo, I'll go on this side. Okay? So, first is the drop side kick. Kicks me with the leading foot, the nose kick to the head. So, drop. Kick side kick, and now the drop runos kick. He kicks me with the runos kick to the head with the back leg. I go down. Kick runos kick to his groin. Okay. And then the third one is your front. So here, usually we use it, but he pushes you forward and then you back up. And then I go kick him. Bakal tepe di sini, tepe di segoin, tepe di sebadi. Okay, do it from this side. You push me, bang, I go down, then I go front, front. Okay, so that is your drop kick, right? Okay, so for the sake of exercise now, so you can also move. We do it. Alright, so I'll do three counts right and three counts left. Three counts and then uh right. First is the drop side kick. I'll just gonna do two front and then two sideways so you can see the four. Drop side kick. Drop side kick. Go what? Two. Front house kick, go what? Two. Side view. What? Two. Change guard. Reverse, go what? Change guard. 
One. Two. Side view. One. Two. Sure, drop, front kick. Next. You have the pragmatic, pragmatic blocks. Okay. So that's usually a question. What is a pragmatic block? Pragmatic block is just uh, going around, just blocking a strike. Okay. And then uh, we have. Forearm, palms, knife hand, and uh, shin. Okay. So first is forearm. Ready? So anything you just block with a forearm. Ito na yung uh, during the examination. You just he's gonna punch now. You go like this one. This is your. This is my forearm block. Okay. So during the test. So punch on your kalab and then you just use the forearm as a way of blocking. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, it's a uh, conditioning actually sa in your forearm. Okay, and the next is a pragmatic block using your palm. So the difference karon is when it's like I use my I use my palm. See, I am using my palm even kung magkik siya. Same thing happen, I'm using my, my palm and my blocking, okay? Punch. Okay? So anything, I say you are blocking using the palm. It means like you're blocking and you're striking. Then, the knife hand, same. So you're using the knife hand. Okay, so when you go with swinging punch, see, I'm go. See, I'm using my knife hand block, okay? So, oh, oh. so I could go like that, okay? Same gap when you kick, fun kick. I'm going, see, I'm striking with my knife and strike. Punch, see? Okay? Good, right? So I'm striking with my weapons, okay? Forearm, palm, and knife hand. Next is your. Uh, uh, shin okay so now it's like the Muay Thai block or the uh, Wushu block that we have so when we see a shag leg kick okay it's a shin to shin kick bam when he kicks the body bam same thing okay bam bam okay so during the test uh, one of the bottom see it's like Okay, so it's uh, actually it's hardening, yeah, but for Kunyan Tira, then I will put it's my shin hardening, my forearm hardening, my uh, knife hand hardening, and my palm heel hardening. Okay, so I'm going to show pragmatic blocks now for exercise purposes uh, so you can move as well and what you can do then let's do it okay so during the pragmatic block I'll do the first is the forearm so I'm just gonna do uh, shadow fight it's a cool one minute so but we just gonna do 10 seconds right now so every block basta forearm akong nanito okay go start moving now if you are working out with us It's a forearm. You're hitting with a forearm. You're using the forearm as a way to block his weapon. Okay? Either a kick, middle punches, punches to the head. Use your forearm. Okay? So when you're training, use this one. Okay?
Okay? So again, uh, sa training time ninyo, you can do it 1 minute or 2 minutes of that. Then, after that is your uh, palm heel. So, on, I just imagine the tira, and I just go with a palm heel block. So, there's no block. I'm using my palm heel. It's like this, you know, I'm using all my palm heel when I block. the palm. Next is your knife fan. Okay? So knife fan. So again, when you do this class, diba dapat nasa mga 2 minutes shadow box. Just really shadow blocks. Now, I'm using my knife fan. Conditioning. Again, if my hands, my forearm is harder than his, then I'm striking him while I'm blocking. The last one is your shin or the knee blocks. Okay? So, may tabuan ni eh, in your two minutes na shadow box or sometimes in the exam, may nagatira sa mo. Just like yung ibot naman ni Paolo gayo na, di ba? Alright. Here. center when he punches me I could use my shin to block my body see that okay he goes run his kick he goes leg kick I'm just gonna check him bam bam okay body kick boom boom right when he punches me I could still use the block block side sideways I could block from the outside Put that going inside. So I'm using my my shin to make the, the block. Right? And then you can do your defense. But right now, it's just all the blocking. Okay? So that's your pragmatic blocks. Okay? Breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay. Now, uh, okay, starting, we're just gonna do strikes, okay? Uh, with the pads, makita na yun yun. Usually, it's axe kick. Kanin kita yun nagamit, dilik yung ganahan sa, sa shi, o kanin? Pads kasi hindi rin maliyaw. Pwede ka rin siya. Kasi you want your feet to extend and then slap the the thing. Okay? So, kanina mo siya, hapungan ninyo yung tiil. Okay, siguro pag you can kick hard now, you know the technique already, that's where you go with this. Okay? Pero, sakit yan po sa arms na nagagunit. Like that. So, kanina siya, you can just open lang. 
But again, you can do, you can use anything. I would highly suggest this one. Okay. Let's see how. Pasag yung aming ano eh, yung bubong namin, masipa ako, mga kabalitan pa ako. Okay? So, the living food, and ang great new way is to go sideways na lang. Okay, tapos slightly bend yung mong elbow kasi hindi ka maagas na yung anak ko. Slightly bend, so you are strong. Okay, and then usually you put it uh, above the head or face level. Say mo ang gina, atal pads. Where you, when you kick, you go high. Okay, so basta when you when you kick, you go up. Drop it. So there's a base for the clavicle. Okay. Three. It's your leading foot. And this is my back foot now. Back leg. Axe kick. Okay. So I go out, bend. Okay. So that's how to hold it without you just know how to do it. Then. For the drop kicks, dapat naput to your pads. So you're just gonna hold that, then he's gonna go forward. One. Pero groin position lang siya kasi ang target na ako is the groin. Two. Okay. Now sa drop runner's kick, same. So you put on your runner's kick position. One. Okay, then sa front, it's gonna push me. Boom, go down. Okay, so pwede daghanan na siya pag front. Alright, so again, you've just been given the techniques, pero again, you develop it to make it applicable in a street fight. Why we learn all these things? So we can apply it. We practice it. At some point, all these things are effective in a street fight. Okay, so you practice. Okay. Now the last part of your the lesson for the third round to second round is the self defense. Okay. Self defense. We have we have here seven. There's a lot of things we research. Okay. For in ABK in our manual, we have seven things for a multiple attacker self-defense. Because there is a part of our self-defense that four opponents will attack you, then the other one has a weapon. Usually in a street fight, somebody will have a weapon, especially in a in a gang fight or multiple attackers. Usually, some somebody has as a weapon. So in our exam, there will be four attackers, and then one has a weapon. So these are the different. Uh, the plural man defense from our manual. Okay, uh, plural man defense. A critical part of the Niku test is a simulated attack by four person, which is one as a knife. Okay, so here are seven rules of plural attack, which must be memorized by and, up, and applied. Okay, number one, take the psychological advantage. Number two, limit area of opponent's attack. Number three. Always maintain eye contact with a weapon. Number four, coin knife. Always use opponents against each other. Five, use only simple, fast, and powerful technique. Six, attack only two extremely vital areas of the opponent's body. Seven, keep plan, ready defense and offense on all sides. Okay, so no, so I'll explain it. Number one. Take a psychological advantage. It means when you show them that uh, you are afraid or you don't know what to do, it will give them more uh, courage or bravery. But if you show them that you're not afraid and that you are 
you are ready, like you are composed. So it's like, it's like when you, so they when they know that you don't know what to do. But when you go like like this and you look them to the eye, and then look at them that you're ready. So that is taking the psychological advantage. It means, or sometimes you just tell them like, okay, you don't you don't do that. You talk to them, okay? Uh, like you you know what you're doing. Then uh, number two is limit the area of opponent's attack. It means uh, I have a wall here, diba? So that's limiting the opponent's area of attack when you go to the wall, diba? See, si Paulo, so walang iba kasi hindi he is in the wall. So that the only uh, attack the side, front, and the other side, they, there is no area at the back, okay? That's limiting your opponent's area of attack. But if I'm here, Diba? So I, I have opponent all over me. As I, uh, if you're in the wall, then you limit the opponent's attacking area. Okay? And then uh, number three, always maintain eye contact with the weapon. So you look for the person with the, with the weapon. So he has the weapon. So dapat siya, kasi I could take a punch, a kick, I will still live. Diba? I could still stand. Magunog lang ko. Ano? Pero if a knife would hit me once, dead. Diba? Or you're damaged already. So, dapat, you look on who holds the weapon and your eyes will be always on the guy who holds the weapon. Okay? But I'm still looking for the other guys. Okay? If I'm on the wall, like this, so I'm looking at them, but I'm, my eyes has always been in the person who has the weapon. Okay? Number four, use opponent against each other. Okay? This is where you will learn how why we should do the, do the knife hand because you can grab the opponent and you can use them against each other. Okay, so I was able to use this already in a in a in a in a real fight. No, so sabihin, if I could take hold of, of this guy, for example, I could take a hold of him, mm -hmm. So I could go like this. So I could go like this. Diba? Okay, so I could kung na ako sa wall, see? I could use him. So I could just and the person in front, I could go over to him and I could just kick the people here on the on the side. Okay? That's that's what I mean. Use him as a weapon. Or when I can get him this opponent at the back, then when I can get him, bam, boom, I strike him, bam. Nice, see? I, I I use I use the opponent. They're multiple points. Use them against each other. Okay? Then number five, use only simple, fast, and powerful technique. Okay, so you don't use spinning kicks or like uh, magical kicks. You just use simple technique. What are the simple techniques, you know? Uh, punch, elbow, simple. So this really put a lot of power. Knee strike to the groin. Okay, so use those uh, simple and fast technique. Or instead of, I, if I'll do it, except if I'm really good at spinning, spinning back kick, a simple and fast technique will be just a front kick to the groin, see? Uh, no? So use a um, more faster technique, di ba? See, if I go spinning back, see, I'll go like this. Jumping, turning, oh, no, kick pa, di ba? So you don't use this technique. Simple, fast, and then powerful technique. So what are powerful techniques? Elbow, see? It's so powerful. Oh, knee strikes are so powerful. And front kick are so powerful. Okay? So use those techniques. And then... Attack only the extremely vital areas of the opponent's body. So it means I will attack the vital area. So it means you need to know the anatomy of the body. Asa to mga soft parts. So groin, most sensitive, you strike the groin. Okay? Neck. This one, the other sample, is very sensitive. Okay? Solar flexus. Eyes, bridge of the nose, jaw, temple. Okay, those are soft and sensitive part of the body, so that's where you strike, or the the instep, or the knee. You kick the knee. Okay, remember that knee, groin, Adam's apple, eyes, nose, jaw, temple. Those are the target. Okay, and then last one is keep plan ready for defense, offensive on all sides. So dapat nakagard ka pala mente, ready. Even though you take down already the other guy. Pam, the battery can afford for the second guy. Alright? So, always ready. So, that's the uh, self defense. So, in that part, 
like I said, next week after all the lessons, we'll get to a lot of uh, practical self-defense stuff. Okay, from white belt, we're gonna go up, and we'll put more exercises and mga self-defense techniques. Okay, so kung na bitin mo sa sa exercise, and you can go on and do all those. You review niyo to mga kicks, and then you do it two minutes each, and to mga blocks two minutes each. That will that will give you a really really good. Workout. Again, this is this is instructional and this is for you guys. Okay, all right. So that's it. We're gonna go now with our uh, story. So as I say, said ganina sa tong announcement that uh, our time with the master today is about Josai Senjo. Tapos to mga kata, we'll just post it in the in the page so you can practice the the kata, okay? Water break, please. Okay, now we're going to talk about discipleship, we're going to talk about the kuden of the American Bushido Kai Karate. Now our system, the King Sword, is uh, the system that we're using in our Karate, is the American Bushido Kai Karate. We are a part of the American Bushido Kai Karate, uh, we are the uh, uh, daughter dojo of the American Bushido Kai Karate based in Oklahoma here in the Philippines. So we we are our our ukuden is the the ukuden of the American Bushido Karate or abka is Jose Senjo, meaning always present on the battlefield. Okay, so actually gihulam nato ni We we cap we have uh, this is the personal motto of Nakayama Hakudo. He is an uh, exceptional martial artist and one of the founder of the Ayaido, the art of drawing sword. Uh, so, we use it because uh, we just extended the motto because uh, for him, the meaning of always present on the battlefield is you are ready not only during training. Okay? Sometimes when we are in the training or you are in the sparring and then you are always like, like I said, self-defense, right? You are always focused, you're always on the guard, you are ready for the next uh, attacker, then very... Uh, sensitive ka with uh, with all the things that might happen kasi you are in the defensive mood pero kung after training kung wala na nasa gawas then we are we, we are lax or we are relaxed ang ginagawa sa always present on the battlefield is your mindset should always be defensive there could be trouble anytime because so when i teach self defense i teach them when you are in a in a jeepney ayaw matulog tulog Kasi when you're sleeping, then manakawan ka or maybe something happened there na dangerous, then you just, you know, you are, you've been dangerous side. Or when you sit down in a, in a jeepney, then you are in the far edge and then there is kunay kawatan, di ba? So, ikaw itong pinakalas niya maagian. So, those, safer if you go to the edge na those driver. And when you go to a restaurant wherein you don't know the, the place, well, so you go to a place where your back is not exposed. That's always present on the battlefield. Kasi, again, when you sit on the table in the center, the tao nag sa malikod. If you don't know kung naka-drugs ang tao or nasa masama na balak, so you, your back is exposed. Pero if you sit on, on the wall side, and then at least you can see everyone who is uh, passing in your front. So those are some principles mm -hmm. of always present on the battlefield. Uh, one more thing is uh, the training doesn't end in the in the dojo. Tumpatanamagatulut na mga principles, life principles, disciplina, bowing, respect doesn't end only in the dojo, but it's apply in life. So always present on the battlefield. Uh, but for us as uh, Christian uh, samurai, Christian martial artist, we go the same same way. We believe that. Uh, the extended version of always present on the battlefield is we are ready in the battlefield of life. No? 
Bushido or the, the warrior is in safe, comfortable, easy, dull life of civilian. It is filled with rigorous training, discipline, it is dangerous, risky, out of the edge, and hard. Okay? In the same way, servanthood to God is not easy life. We are constantly under attack by the devil and his evil forces. Therefore, we should always be alert and ready to fight for the Lord. Okay? So, dapat ready to premente uh, and equip for spiritual battle. So, we make our body strong and, and ready for any physical attacks. Uh, and one of the reasons is like we want to be strong and healthy. Uh, martial arts is a way of exercise. And if ever na mag-abot na mag-attack sa to, we could defend ourselves. Uh, also, uh, martial arts is way of life preservation. No? So, uh, that's why we train. Pero, what we believe is the source of eternal life is giving our life to Jesus Christ. Diba? Mga itong lesson to last time, diba? Uh, when we surrender our life to Jesus, then that's where we have eternal life. That's the real security and real salvation. Pero karon, uh, as we give our lives to God and we are in the battlefield serving Him, working for Him, there's a battle. No? Nakabot lang sa Bible, uh, sa Ephesians, chapter 6. Andrina chapter 6 verse 10 finally be strengthened by the Lord and his vast strength put on the full armor of God so you can stand against the, the tactics of the devil for our battle is not against flesh and blood but against rulers against the authorities against the world powers of this darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in in the heavens this is why you should take up the full armor of God, so, do, so that you may be able to resist in the evil day. And having prepared everything to take your stand, stand therefore with the belt, around, with the belt of truth around your waist, righteousness like an armor in your chest, and your feet sandaled with the readiness to share the gospel of faith, peace. In every situation, take the shield of faith, and with it, you will be able to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the soul of the spirit, which is the word of God. With every prayer and request, pray at all times in the spirit and stay alert in this with all per perseverance and intercession for all the saints. So, nakabutan diri sa scripture, sa Bible, that we are in a war against the evil forces of this world. So, spiritual battle is the greatest battle, not physical battle. Again, physical, and today ni Koto, pero spiritual battle could uh, affect you spiritually for eternity. Again, our lives here on earth is temporary. Our lives to come is more important. Asa tapadulong after this life. So, so you have to protect your heart. That how we could do it is we, when we trust, when we put, put our faith and, and trust in Jesus Christ. That's why we accept Him as our personal Lord and Savior. Tapos ko, as Christians, we want to uh, we, we want to be a blessing to other people. We want to be used by God. Ang battle na put karon is is how we could stay faithful and true to, to God. That's why nakabutandre, we have to put on the full armor of God. The belt of truth. The belt of truth is the word of God. Dapat ato ang kina... Sa una mga mga Roman soldiers, all the... All the important things in their life na sa ilang belt. Wala man sila bulsa sa una. They don't have any pockets. So they use their belt. Dito nakabot, nakahang mga pagkaon, ang tubig, ang mga coins. Every... Every important thing sa ilang life na sa belt. Okay? Kasi wala sila yung pocket. Wala yung Levi sa una. <laughs> so they use the belt. So the belt of truth... Na nan importante na part sa mong life, it must be according to God's word. The God's word is the belt of truth. Then, uh, righteousness like armor in your chest. So, imong imong heart protectahan yung paramente, di ba? Nadra ang utapot ang armor, kasi nadra ang heart. Ang heart is imong motives. Yun sa Bible, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. So, importante kay na pure imong heart paramente. 
protected hay yun. Trap, when you watch yun ng mga karon sa internet and mag-pop up lang kalit itong mga impure, impure things, di ba? Mga, uh, mga sexy things, ana-ana, di ba? So, all the temptations. And then, pag na-impure na imong mind, and then it will start to, to eat up your focus on God. Diba? So, dapat protektahan yun na to atong heart. Always have a pure heart. Uh, even the Bible said, David led his people with a skillful hand and a pure heart. So, pure heart is very important. Again, in the Jesus Christ, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Okay? And then, uh, fit with the sandal, with the readiness to share the gospel of peace. So, importante na atong tiil, we are ready to go wherever God is calling us. Ibig sabihin, obedient ta with God, whatever He wants us to do. We are ready to obey and do His will. And always, wherever ta nag to, we share the gospel of peace. We share about Jesus Christ. We share His love. Then, uh, take the shield of faith. So, ang shield na to, itong pangsagang karoon sa mga lies sa enemy, yung mga attack, is the, is our faith. Dapat strong atong faith. Na even, even daghag mga temptations na mag-doubt ka na nalab na ba ko ni God or na ba ko yung good future. Those are doubts. Faith is the opposite of doubt. Ang faith is, yes, I believe that I have good future. I believe that God has a plan for me. I believe that that uh, uh, life will be better because God is with me. And I believe that God is preparing me for heaven. That is faith. You keep on believing that what the Bible said is true and God, you are God's son and daughter and He has a great plan in your life. So that is what you mean by the shield of faith. Faith is believing things that you don't see. Okay? Faith is what makes us uh, live for God. Okay? And through our faith, God can do miracles in our lives. Kung wala tayo faith, then God cannot make miracles. Nagig sa isa ka lugar gaduan si Jesus Christ na people doesn't have faith and then wala siya naka-perform kay miracle. Di ba makita mo si Jesus Christ when when people approach him and then even tong two blind men, di ba? Ang siya Jesus Christ. And as he said, what do, do what do I want me to do for you? And as like, we want to see. And as Jesus Christ, do you believe that I can make you see? And I said, yes, we believe. So, faith. Kay kung wala tayo faith, God will not move in our lives. If we doubt then God will not move in our lives. Muna yung sa James chapter 1 verse 5 na but when you ask, you must not doubt because if you doubt, you, you don't expect that you will accept anything from God. Okay? So, dili gusto si God na doubtful ta. So, dapat we increase our faith. How? That's gonna change your prayer life. Pray that your faith will increase. Pray that God will increase your faith and then purify your heart. So, that's my personal prayer. Lord, increase my faith, purify my heart, purify my thoughts. Every day, I pray for that. Then, uh, helmet of salvation. Always, kubera na itong utok o mga uh, promises of God. Diba? Ang promise sa two agad is we will be with Him in heaven. That is our salvation. So, dapat protektahan na itong head anad na bisang, bisang unsa ang ingon na lie sa tua mga wrong teachings, we must always focus on the salvation that God has for us and His promises for us. Okay? So, protect your mind. Protect your mind always. And then, the sword of the Spirit and dilagi ka na pangalan na King Sword. Okay? We believe that the Word of God is the greatest weapon. Okay? There's power in the name of Jesus and there's power in His words. This is the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God. So, we could, uh, by the word of God, we, we proclaim this like sickness. Masutit na in Jesus' name, sickness get out. Because promise ni God that He will heal us. And then He will answer our prayers. Pero again, not all the time, but that, that's what the Bible said. Pero again, God is God and the ultimate decision is on Him. He is God and we are His followers. We are His servants. Okay? And then, uh, with, er with every prayer and request, pray at all times in the Spirit and stay alert in this. So, importante, that's our two weapons, the Word of God and prayer. Okay? So, that's what it means by always present on the battlefield. In kita karun as Christian samurai, as Christian martial artist, I know now you are training hard and re we really like training hard. We like sweating, we like 
Now, sometimes even we, we like getting getting hit, getting bruises, we feel stronger, di ba? Pag maigo tayo, then we survive. You feel like you're tough. And then when you get another belt after the exam, na naay mga multiple opponents, and then you were able to survive that, you feel stronger. But always remember that make your spirit stronger. Because uh, kung karon ganit, di ba? Matagang ka, new belt, happy ka. Prisipo ni mo kung we will be in heaven, and then si Jesus Christ mismo, ang mag-meet sa mo ha, and then he will say, well done, good and faithful servant, well done. Di ba? So, uh, that is our kuden. That's why when we say, Jose Senjo, or always, always present on the battlefield, that's what we think. We put on the full armor of God, we think about our mission and vision, we think about God being our strength. Amen? So, that's where, what, that's what we mean when we shout, Jose Senjo, always present on the battlefield, filled with the Holy Spirit and covered with the full armor of God. Amen? So I hope guys, you guys are learning. By the way, atong brown belt, uh, third brown belt uh, memory verse is James 1, 2 to 5. Consider if you joy, my friend, if you face trials of many kinds, because the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be complete, not mature, complete, not lacking anything. Okay, that's James chapter 1, verse 2 to 5. Okay, so thank you again. And God bless you all.